Thank you, Jesus. Um, huh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's let's use the share button, you know. Um, God is about to do something mighty tonight. Um, let's let's keep on using the share button. The the Holy Spirit is about to touch the earth one more time. The Lord is about to bless His children again and to expose the deception. Uh, well, because we'll be going into mysteries, some mysteries of the kingdom of darkness. Um, with some deliverance prayer. Um, so you just get yourself prepared. Invite your friends. Use the invite button and invite as many of your friends. Let them hear this truth tonight, today. Uh, deliverance is about to take place also. Um, for those watching this for the first time, um, use the follow up button. Uh, I can accept your friend request because um, the Lord is about to heal as many so. Uh, my heart is burning, you know. My, my spirit is burning already. Um, because of the wickedness on this earth is too much. Uh, my, my soul is burning already, you know. Um, and I believe that the Lord is going to, is going to revive His children. He's, he's going to bless His children tonight. Um, uh, Lord, you have your way tonight, Lord. You have your way tonight, Lord. You, you take charge, Lord. You bless your children tonight. Lord, you have your way, Lord. You have your way, Lord. You, you deliver your children, Lord. You deliver your children. You deliver your children, Lord. You deliver your children. The wickedness is so much already, Lord. Redeeming the time for the days are evil already, Lord. Let's keep on using the share button. Welcome your friends. Um, <clears throat> welcome your friends. And tell them the fire is about to move. The fire of the Holy Ghost is about to move. The fire of God is about to move. The fire of of the end time is about to move right now right now right now and if you take the word that you're going to hear tonight uh, don't worry i'm not doubting whether you get healed I'm, I'm not doubting whether god will bless you tonight I'm, I'm not doubting whether god will deliver you from the powers of darkness tonight i'm not doubting whether the lord will bless you tonight I'm not doubting whether your life will be changed or it will just remain the same tonight. God is going to do something mighty in your life tonight. But you just accept the message, you know. You just accept the message and your life is not going to remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay, let's keep on inviting our friends and sharing. Tonight is that night you have been waiting for. Let's also share to the Skype group. Um... Let's share to the WhatsApp group and let them know the fire of God is moving uh, um, and the Lord is about to bless as many of his children. Your life is not going to remain the same tonight. It's not going to remain the same tonight. It's not going to remain the same tonight. It's not going to remain the same tonight. Your life is going to be changed. It's not going to remain the same tonight. It's not going to remain the same tonight. Um, your life is not going to remain because um, fire is going to move. Fire is going to move. I'm not doubting whether you get blessed. I'm not doubting whether the power of God will flow in your life. I'm not doubting whether you get healed. I'm only doubting, you know, if you will accept the message of holiness you take tonight. I'm about to expose the mystery of the kingdom of darkness. The mystery of the kingdom of darkness. There is a lot of evil on the earth, you know. My heart is bleeding, you know. 
and if you have sent this message tonight, something mighty is going to happen in your life. Something glorious is going to happen, you know. I'm not doubting whether God will call out your problem. It's something that I can do anytime if I want to do that. But you receive the message. You understand how the devil is operating in these last days. The operation of the kingdom of darkness. And I know that God will deliver you tonight. You know, today I was repenting. I was repenting from something something I saw. It was, it was an evil inside of me and I was repenting. You know, because I, I want to be blameless before the Father, you know. So that when the rapture takes place, I'll be able to make it up to heaven. And I know that you'll be able to make it up to heaven. Use the share button. Use the share button and God is going to revive our lives tonight. Oh Lord, you, you do your work, you bless your children, Lord. As many of them, Lord, as they, are, as they are clicking in, Lord, as the prayer comes forth, Lord, you show them that you are God and, and you are powerful and there is no one like you and you are mighty, Lord, God Almighty. Tonight, they are going to listen to your message. Holy Ghost, pour your power, Lord. Oh Lord, I cover this network. I cover everything with the blood of Jesus. I cover the network with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything with the blood of Jesus. I cover your children that are watching tonight with the blood of Jesus. You give them the mystery, the mystery of the things that are happening, Lord God Almighty. You expose Satan in their lives tonight. You expose the darkness in their life tonight. You expose all those things that have been stopping them from reaching out, from getting to your kingdom tonight. You expose everything that is holding down their blessings tonight. You do it. You do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit. 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 Have your way, Holy Spirit, Lord. Lord God Almighty, you, you bless the souls that watch this, Lord. Every stony heart that will not allow your children to accept this message, you take it away from them, Lord. You, you, you take it away, Lord. You establish your word in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope those from, from the Rapture Ready End Time Movement Fellowship, I hope they are ready here. I, I hope those from the Sky Fellowship, I will be live by the grace of God from Monday to Saturday. And we would have our Sunday program by the grace of God. God giving me more strength, I, I would come up live, you know, as many times by the grace of God. And um, to deliver what God has for us tonight. Uh, okay, let's get ready to go to God in prayer uh, once more. Lord God Almighty, you begin to do your work right now. You begin to touch as many of your children. The arrows that have held them, wherever the devil has held the blessings of your children. Oh Lord, after tonight's ministration, it will be released unto them in the name of Jesus. Wherever the devil has captured your children, the web that the devil has used to capture your children, Lord God Almighty, tonight, you free your children from all those web in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, the arrows that the devil is pointing towards them, the agents of darkness that are sitting under the blessings of these ones, Lord. Lord God Almighty, tonight you will free your children, Lord. You will give them grace, Lord God Almighty. The wicked powers, oh Lord, the marine agents, the queen of heaven, Lord God Almighty, all these wicked powers holding down your children. Oh Lord, tonight you will set them free. You will set your children free, Lord. Sickness will get away in the mighty name of Jesus. You will heal your children tonight, Lord God Almighty. Nothing will stand as a stumbling block against their blessing. Nothing will stand as a stumbling block against their going to heaven. Nothing will stand as a stumbling block against them receiving their miracles tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, that particular agent that have been monitoring your daughter, that have been monitoring her, wherever she goes, they will monitor her. Wherever she puts her hand in, they will monitor her. They have been monitoring her since the day she started that business because she entered into a business Lord God Almighty that is owned by an agent of darkness and so they have been watching her glory and so they have been watching her star and so they have been watching her light Lord today you will release that young lady in the mighty name of Jesus oh Lord those ones that have entered into a covenant a covenant a devilish covenant those ones that have entered into an unknown covenant 
covenant and unconscious covenant. You will deliver them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. You will open their eyes and let them know, Lord God Almighty, that they must be strong. They must be strong in the spirit. They must be filled with the Holy Ghost, Lord, so that they can get to heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, you begin to do your work. You don't do your work there, Lord. You begin to do your work. You begin to touch your children, Lord God Almighty, Lord. You begin to bless their soul. You bless their soul, Lord. Oh, Lord, the power that is allowing them to live in sin. Oh, Lord, tonight you will break it down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, you do your work, Lord God Almighty. Oh, Lord, I see that your daughter, I see that your daughter crying, crying every day because of the power of sin that has come and crept into her life. Lord, tonight you will deliver her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It seems as if you will not be delivered. It seems as if the Lord will not set you free. Lord, you will deliver them. Oh Lord, we are about to hear of the mysteries. The mysteries of the kingdom of darkness, Lord. Lord God Almighty, Lord, you, you do your work in their lives, Lord. You set them free, Lord, from the arrows of darkness, Lord. Oh Lord God Almighty, Lord, and you let them know, Lord, that the devil is walking tirelessly, but with the blood of Jesus, they are able to overcome. With the blood of Jesus Christ, they are able to overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord God Almighty, right now, Daddy Lord, my God, my Lord, I, I, I see I see that your daughter, that your daughter watching from South Africa, Lord God Almighty, every arrow that has been injected into her children, into her marital life, Lord, it will be destroyed tonight, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Open Open their hearts to listen to today's message. Let your name be glorified. 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 That dream, that dream that is distressing you. That dream that is distressing you, that dream that is giving you sleepless nights, don't worry, I know where it came from. I know where it came from. Tonight, the Lord will visit you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see you there. I see you there. They have taken your particulars. They are penning it down in the kingdom of darkness. And you know everything you do, they keep on watching you. They keep on striking you from one sickness to another, from one doctor to another. Don't worry, you have come to the place of deliverance because the Holy Spirit will deliver you from those powers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, I see that car, that car you have been riding. This is the second time you are having that accident. You are having that accident. Don't worry. The things that have been implanted around that car that you ride, the Lord is going to give you victory and destroy the powers of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, do your work. Lord, do your work. Why do I hear something in my spirit like um? Why do I hear something like um? Well, like 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 um? Francis, um, Francis, Francis is not is not a Nigerian. He's um from you know one of the West countries in Africa. Um, Francis, Francis, Francis. Whatsoever that the devil has tied against your life, whatsoever the depression, whatsoever the devil has implanted in your life and your destiny tonight. The Lord will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Do your work. Do your work, Holy Spirit. Do your work right now, Lord. You touch your children, you touch their hearts. Oh Lord, today's message, today's message, it will go through their bones. Today's message, it will go through their bones, Lord. Expose the devil. Expose the devil and all their arrows, Lord. Enough is enough. Enough is enough, Lord God Almighty. The wickedness is too much. The arrows are too much, Lord. The earth is polluted. The earth is polluted, Lord God Almighty. This is the earth that you created, Lord. You set your children free. Fill, fill them with fire. Fill them with the fire of the Holy Ghost, Lord. Let them not just be ordinary men. Let them not just be ordinary people anymore. They are filled with the fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost, Lord. The power of sin and the chain of sin. You break it down in the mighty name of Jesus. The eating in dreams. All those initiations that took place in their dream without them knowing. They were initiated and they did not know, Lord, 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 oh God. Set your children free, Lord. 
say to your children every Lord God Almighty, Lord, as we would be exposing Lord God Almighty, the fake agents, the agents of darkness that have come in form of preachers, oh Lord, into the world, Lord God Almighty, open their eyes. Give them discernment. Let them be able to discern between evil and right. Let them be able to discern what is okay. Let them be able to have discernment inside their spirit, Lord. Oh, Lord, we will go to heaven. We will journey to heaven, Lord. You bless the rapture already and time moment, brethren. Wherever they are, Lord God Almighty, you put peace in their heart. You put joy in their hearts, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, from today, Lord, the things that are watching over their life, it will be torn apart in the mighty name of Jesus. And let's keep on using the share button. Let's keep on using the share button. Um, let, let's keep on using the share button. Um, let's invite more of our friends. Let's invite more of our friends. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this is no more of... Um, this is no more of a teaching, you know. Um, um, this is no more of a teaching. Uh, not that I'll be teaching, you know. Um... <clears throat> Uh, this is more of um, a timely message, an end time message that um, you need to hear um, <clears throat> that is going to set you free. Um, I, I realize that a lot of Christians are in a lot of bondage. There's a lot of bondage. So many Christians are in. Um, there's a lot of powers holding down the children of God. Uh, but I'm about to give us some, <clears throat> some strategy of how the devil works some strategy possibly by the virtue of a little bit of experience that I must have had by the virtue of some certain things I must have heard by the virtue of some certain things I must have listened to that the Holy Spirit has made me know that these things are true and these things can be trusted you are living in a dangerous time you are living in a time Apostle Paul was not even able to see you are living in a time that is so wicked. You are living in a time of increased danger. You are living in a time whereby to get to heaven, we only take the grace of God. These are not the days of Timothy. These are not even the days when Jesus Christ walked on the earth. This is the last days. The last days. What, what it means, the last days is like, you know how the bottom of the pot is always like, um, when you are trying to take the food out of the bottom of the pot. That's how these days are. This is the last days. This is the last day. So every evil has settled down for these last days. They are ready for you. <laughs> the kingdom of darkness, they are ready. Please don't miss tonight's vigil. Don't miss tonight's vigil. It's called... Um, <clears throat> we'll be going into the engine room. The engine room of the kingdom of darkness. Don't miss tonight's vigil. Don't miss tonight's vigil. Don't miss tonight's vigil. It's going to be on Zoom. Don't miss tonight's vigil. Because the powers that have been hijacking your testimonies. I will give us some strategic points. Why and how all these things are happening. Don't miss tonight's vigil. Something will happen. Fire will come down. Fire will come down again. Fire will come down. It's time for the judgment of God to be released on these wicked powers. But I must advise you. Be strong. Desire to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Desire to be filled with the fire of God. The days are evil. <laughs> the days are evil. This kind of days I'm talking of, it's not, it's not, it's not 2000. It's, it's not 1999. This is 2017. The evil is too much. The evil is too much. The, the powers, the monetary spirits are too much. You cannot overcome the devil if you don't depend on Jesus. You cannot overcome the devil if you don't live a life of purity. You cannot overcome the devil if you don't live a life of holiness. You cannot overcome the devil if your heart is not pure. You will not be able to overcome the devil. You will not. You will not. His enemies are everywhere. The devil, the agents are everywhere. Everywhere is polluted. Everywhere is polluted. It's of, re of recent I realized that before I go to bed, let me tell you this simple secret. Um, 
if you are if you are looking for somebody that has seen too much, by the grace of God, my two eyes, my two eyes have seen so much. My two eyes have seen so much. Uh, and I, I don't know why why I see that way, you know. Um, but maybe that's the way God has created me to be. Um, because um, so, some people wonder, you know, brother, why, why, why do you see like this? And why is it that every time you have revelations and revelations and revelations? I, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I don't know why God allows it to be so. But I must tell you, <laughs> the kingdom of darkness are working tirelessly. Not everything you see around you is normal. Every day before you go to bed, cover your bed with the blood of Jesus. <laughs> You might not understand what I'm trying to say, but I will explain further later. Cover your bed with the blood of Jesus. Cover your body, your soul, and your spirit with the blood of Jesus. Something is happening in the spiritual world. Something is happening. Something great is happening. Your data, your information, your particulars, everything have been taken somewhere into a particular realm, into a particular kingdom. And they are working tirelessly to touch the children of God. But if you carry the fire of God, not a Christian that is living in sin, not a Christian that is living in the world, if you carry the fire, <coughs> not a Christian, you know, <coughs> if you carry the fire of God, your life, your life will be so much beautiful. Listen to me. <clears throat> Listen to me. Listen to me. The things that I will tell you. You might see somebody, you might see Che Doze, Anele Che Doze, but you don't understand. You don't understand why I speak you, why I speak. You don't understand what has been set upon the earth. The last day army of Jesus are all over the earth. They come with diverse spirits. They come with a last day message to deliver the church. But if you don't listen carefully, <clears throat> If you don't listen carefully, if you don't listen carefully, you might be a prey. But I pray that you will not be a prey of the enemy. That the things that have been holding you backwards, the powers that have been holding you backwards, that the Lord will set as many of you and he will set as many of us free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the Bible says something, redeeming the timing. For the days are getting evil. For the days are getting evil. For the days are getting evil, my brothers and sisters. <clears throat> the days are getting evil. The days are so much terrible. Christians will go through a lot of tribulation. Be prayerful. Be prayerful so that you'll be able to stand the wars, the powers of darkness. Be prayerful so that you'll be able to stand the activities of the enemy. Be very prayerful. And I know God is going to bless our lives tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For those watching, <clears throat> keep using the share button. Keep using the share button because we'll take a final prayer. This particular prayer that we will be making, as we will make that prayer, something will happen to you. If there was a power that has been holding you down, it will be destroyed. If there was a power that has been holding you down, it will be destroyed. If there was a power... <clears throat> If there was a power that was holding you down, that was holding your destiny down, that was holding you down, that was holding your miracle down, it will be destroyed. That's why I say pay attention. All those things you see happening to you is not normal. Your dream is where the initiation takes place nowadays. Are you hearing me? Your dream. Your dream. Your dream is where the initiation is taking place. Are you hearing me? <laughs> and if you are not very much careful, and if you don't understand the things that you see, ask the Lord to give you discernment. Tell the Lord, help me to discern. Because your dream is a very terrible place where, where, where initiations are taking place. Many Christians, even that are listening to me or that are watching me right now, even those that claim to be pastors, even those that claim to be bishop, even those that claim to be apostles, I don't know the title that they use, many of them are agents of darkness. Many of them are unconsciously working for Satan, but they might not know. <clears throat> they might not know. Many of them. I told us something. I was about to do something in my room. I wanted to kill something like a war gecko. Immediately disappeared. I didn't see it again. <laughs> not everything around you are normal. 
Not every insect you see around you are normal. Not every lizard you see around you are normal. Not every kind of things that appears in your room are normal. The flies you see around you are not normal. Those things were projected by the kingdom of darkness. Those things, they are watching your daily activity. They are watching everything you do on a daily basis. They are taking strategic information into the kingdom of darkness about you. My brother, please, if you see them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. There is no time to waste. I know that the Lord will deliver as many of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will go into some certain things. It might scare you. But I'm not here so that it will scare you. I'm here so that you will make it to heaven. And so that you will journey to, to, you will journey to heaven. And um, there are some certain things I repented from today, you know. Uh, because I, I've, been, I, I've, been, I've been scared to tell some people of some certain things, you know. There is a way you get blessed. I'll let you know how the devil strategically steals your blessing. How the devil is walking tirelessly. He's walking tirelessly. He's walking tirelessly. It is the mysteries, the mysteries, the mysteries of darkness. And I know God is going to deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> there are some evil forces. There are some evil forces. You know, there are some, there are some persons that think, um, there, there are some evil forces that, um, you, you you cannot just pray over them, but if they don't die, if they don't die, there are some agents of darkness, some witchcraft power. If they don't die, you will not get your miracle. I, I learned this, you know. So somebody says, Oh, but Jesus said, Pray for your enemy, pray for your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus said, pray for your enemy, pray for all those people and all the rest. The days that Jesus was living in is different from the days you are living in right now. The Bible says that greater works shall we do than he has done. The days that Apostle Paul lived and Brother Spurgeon, Brother Wingus words, the days they lived is different from the days Chidozi is living in. The days I am living in is so terrible. They didn't see all these things that we are seeing right now. They didn't see the naked pictures that I see right now. They didn't see all the wickedness that I see right now. They didn't see all the media pollutions that you and I are seeing right now. Spurgeon did not see all those things like that. Windows World did not see all those things like that. So stop telling me something like, you know, um, 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 you know, you know the Bible says this and all the rest. That's why the Bible said, all those enemies that do not want you to reign over them, bring them that I should slay them. There are some of your enemies that must go away for your door to open. And if they don't pass away, your door will not open. Listen to the things I tell you. For they are truth. And they are the words of the Spirit. And they can be trusted. For this reason, Jesus sent me. I'll not be giving us a lot of scriptural verse. Like I said, it's not a teaching. But it's just some truth. I said something. Your dream life. Your dream life is where most of the initiation takes place. Many so-called Christians have been initiated, or they have been initiated, but they don't know that they are initiated. <laughs> I will let you know how you are initiated. I will let you know what, what it means. Many so-called Christians, I don't mean, I'm not talking people in the world. I'm saying Christians, people that say they are Christians. <laughs> because being a Christian is not by words. Being a Christian is not, is not by shouting it. Being a Christian is not by me putting um, Apostle, Apostle Che Doze or Bishop Che. It doesn't, it doesn't add anything to the anointing. It doesn't remove. That's why I tell people, being somebody is a child of God or is a man of God does not mean that maybe I must wear a suit, you know, I must wear a big collar, I must put my collar like this and uh, I must show myself, you know, and everybody sees me and say, wow, oh, he's a great man of God and all the rest. All those things don't move me, you know, that's not what I'm after, you know. I'm after that you get truth. Many people have been initiated in their dream. I will let you know many pastors. I will let you know some certain things. How you will know those pastors that are false. And how you know those pastors that have gotten their powers from the river. They will be exposed. If I don't finish this sermon today, I'll finish it tomorrow. I'll be live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I'll be live Saturday. 
on Sunday, we will have our fellowship by the grace of God. <clears throat> our Sunday fellowship. Your dream life. There are many of you listening to me right now. You still see yourself. You see yourself. It will look as if you are flying in the dream. Or it will look as if somebody push you from a story building and you now start to fly to another altitude. And you might say to yourself, maybe I'm an angel. Uh, or maybe um, uh, something like, is an angel that made me to fly. You are an unconscious witch, but you don't know. Initiation takes place through many ways. The devil must not initiate you by giving you something and all the rest. There are different ways. Even by you looking at something, immediately, if you are not filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost, you will be initiated. Many people have been initiated. They don't know. They don't know. And that is why whenever they keep on sleeping, you keep on seeing people chasing you, chasing you, chasing you, chasing you. You even see somebody coming to you and appear to you like somebody you know, but you still have that same dream. If you are here listening to me and you have a particular dream the same time, you have been initiated. People don't like shadows here. You don't need to like me. But I tell people the truth. If you want to get to heaven, you listen to the truth and all the rest. And I believe that you get to heaven by the grace of God. There is a lot of initiation taking place. Taking place. Taking place. And the children of God are not aware. Listen to me. I told you, the Lord said to me, every church should be undergoing deliverance. Every church should. I don't want to know if it's a Bible believing church. I don't want to know if your pastor only preaches Bible. Undergo deliverance if you want to make heaven. Because if they initiate you into the kingdom of darkness, if they initiate you unconsciously, it will be very much hard for you to make heaven. You know why? They will stop your prayer life. They will stop your Bible study life. They will give you depression in your heart every day of your life. They will, I will tell you, I will let you know how they hijack your finances. You know many holiness Christians, they serve Jesus, but their finances are tight. They say, oh, they are poor. I will let you know the reason why many Christians are poor. It's not like it was so. There are kingdoms of darkness that strategically hold down your blessings and hold down your miracle. Remember, in one of my encounters or something like, I don't know if I was on a crusade, I, I said this, a, a young lady said to me, a young lady said to me, brother, brother, I see myself in the water. And when I see myself in the water, I see myself with other young ladies, you know. And she said, I see myself with other young ladies. These other young ladies I see myself with, they put a crown on my head. They give me something like juice. You are the type, you are listening to me. And you are eating in the dream constantly. And you think it's normal. You think it's normal for you to be eating. You think it's normal. Some of you are eating your destinies and you don't know. The devil is feeding you with your glory you don't know. Some of you are eating human parts. You, but you say, I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. You are, some of you are eating human body. Human body. Some of you are drinking. You thought you are drinking juice. You are not drinking juice in the dream. You are drinking blood. Some of you are drinking blood in the dream. But you think it's normal. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow you begin to say, Oh, brother, what is happening to me and all the rest. But that dream that you had last time, you never took it serious. But God was trying to speak to you. Don't worry. That's why Jesus sent me here. Tonight... Um, I don't want anybody to miss tonight's vigil. Tonight's vigil, something will happen. Fire will come down. We will go into the engine room. See, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's either they finish me or I finish them tonight. It's either we finish them, we finish them, we finish them, we finish all this power. Enough of satanic power. Enough of wicked spirit upon the earth. Enough of wicked powers. A lot of things are happening. People are initiated, but they don't know that they are initiated. People are initiated, but they don't know they are initiated. They think it's normal. That's why many people will not make it to heaven. Many people will not make it to the rapture. Because these things will stand. These things will hinder you. They know what they are doing. You think the devil is, is a fool? You think the devil is unwise? He's very strategic. There are many of you listening to me right now. Your neighbor. Try to know who your neighbor is. Try to know who your neighbor is. Try to know who that next door neighbor is because they are not ordinary people anymore. The devil has polluted everywhere. People are under satanic bondage. You can be coming to church and be clapping to church. It does not move Satan. It does not move Satan that you are clapping. It does not even move Satan that you are preaching. It does not even move Satan that you are apostle. It does not even move Satan that you are reverend. It does not move. All those things don't move Satan. It does not move Satan, you know. There's something that moves Satan. Do you, know, do you want to know what moves Satan? 
<laughs> you want to know what moves the kingdom of darkness? <clears throat> As we are watching this, let's use the share button because there are, there are some certain things that I have not said. You might you 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 would, you would not see that in my heaven and hell encounter. You might not see that on YouTube and all the rest. But I'm releasing it here because I was so much touched in my heart to release this secret, the secret of the kingdom of darkness to so many people. So um, please, you know, just share because deliverance, you will be delivered. Listen to me. I will tell you, to, I will let you know how your blessings can be stopped. I will let you know the way Satan cannot touch your blessing. Are you listening to me? Satan cannot touch your blessing if you do the things that I tell you to do. Satan will never touch your blessings. I will let you know those pastors that are demonic, but they are coming to you in sheep clothing. I will not call their names, but I will let you know some simple things. One thing God has given me, and one thing, a gift that God has blessed me with, is the spirit of discernment. That's one gift I know heaven blessed me with. If I see somebody, I know who you are. I know, even if you like, cover your face, it does not stop me from knowing you. It does not stop me. If I go deep, if I go deep into the realm of the spirit, I know you. The devil is wicked. He's a liar. He's a liar. What pains me and what is paining my heart every day is that the churches some of you are going to, the places of worship some of you are going to, the places you are going to to worship, those places, the foundation is faulty. What is paining my heart every day is that the places some of you are going to, I'm not saying you should come to my church. I, I'm not saying you should come to Rapture Radio and Time Movement and all the rest. The places some of you are going to, that is where they initiated you. The communion some of you are taking, that's where they initiated you. That's where they initiated some of you. They say, buy this oil. Buy Lion of Judah oil. Buy this oil. Buy this oil. Have I ever given or sold oil to any of you before? Have I ever sold oil to any of you before? Is it not that I will tell you, bring your oil and let me pray for your oil? Have I ever collected money from any of you for deliverance before? What pains me is that many of you are hindering yourself. Many of you are the cause of your problems. Many of you. Many of you. Because you are seeking for miracles. Because you are seeking for power. And they are initiating you in that church, but you don't know. You don't know what is happening there. I was in the realm of the spirit. Lord, Lord, as long as I live on this earth, give me no rest until I destroy every kingdom. Give me no rest. Give me no rest until I destroy every kingdom. Give me no rest. Give me no rest, Father. Until I destroy every kingdom, Father. Give me no rest. Until I destroy every kingdom that is on this earth. I was in the realm of the spirit. As I was in the realm of the spirit, something happened. A sea. I saw a sea. Oh God. In this sea I saw. So many pastors were surrounded around this sea. Oh God. I don't know why these people are doing these things to you. I don't know why they are doing these things, but it's because of your soul. They're after your soul. Satan is after your soul. People were gathered there, you know. And when people were gathered, these people were pastors. All of a sudden, they were surrounding the place to collect power. Let me let you know. That pastor that will not preach to you and tell you about heaven, he's an agent of darkness. That pastor that will preach to you and will only tell you about miracle, they have a particular language. Some of them will just tell you something like say, Ure, say, who, say, yeah, say, ha. If you notice some of them saying a particular language in their administration, say something like, aha, lulu, 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 or saying a particular speaking in tongues, listen very much carefully. Those things are not ordinary, they are making incantation. Are you, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Hear me very much clearly. Some of you are watching because many of you are, are, are many of you are the people that have gone there. I will let you know. Some of you that are saying, "Brother, I work too much. My finances is tight." I will let you know how the kingdom of darkness is touching your finances because I realized something. The Lord told me something. Um, I was crying to the Lord. The Lord laid this in my spirit that 
There are some certain things I've not been preaching to the children because if you realize something, I don't like to talk about something about finances and all the rest. But it's like I'm stopping some of you from knowing the truth. I'm stopping some of you from getting blessed. I will let you know how the kingdom of darkness are doing these things and are touching you. From today, you will set yourself free. I might not even make so much of prayer for you, but you will set your own self free by doing the right thing. As I was there, I saw a multitude of pastors. They were there, all kinds of people, going there to get power. Many churches you see here on earth, their foundation is of the kingdom of darkness. If you go there and step your leg there, listen to me very well. They have the power to call your name. There is something they rub. They can rub some certain things around their eyes. Are you hearing me? They rub some certain things around their mouths. So that they can give you... You see this word of knowledge I always release. The word of knowledge I always release. There are people specifically that Satan has given them. If you step in that their church, they would be able to call your situation and your problem. Listen to me. You will get miracle baby. Listen to me. They will even give you money. They will give you everything. But... Satan has initiated you. I will let you know he has initiated you. All those things you got from the kingdom of darkness by the hand of that pastor. At night, they will collect it in one way or the other. It is in exchange for your soul. It is in exchange. I know them. I see them. I will not call names. I will not call names. I will not call names for now. I will not call names for now, but I see them. I know them. If I see them with my two eyes, I know the ones that are using, I know them. I know the ones that put it around their eyes. I know them. Because I have the spirit of discernment. I know them. You must be careful. Many of you have put your leg in places. That's why, that's why, that's why your life is shambled. Many of you, your glory has been stolen by all those people you call man of God. Mightiest prophet. Hey, wonderful prophet. Great prophet, mysterious, what, what names do you people use again? Apostle, um, this and that. Many of you, your glory has been taken. I know there are some sisters listening to me that are from victims of pastors trying to sleep with them. Listen to me. If such kind of thing is happening to you, it is not ordinary. Now listen to me. It is a covenant they have made. And if by virtue, if by virtue you are slept with such kind of people, you need to go for deliverance. Because your life will be shambled. If you want to get to heaven, you will listen to the things I will tell you. I will go deep. I might not finish this sermon today. Tomorrow, I will continue. But tonight, but you know what is called engine room. You know what is called engine room. You will go into engine room. You will go into engine room. It's you that will go there and take your blessing. You will go there and hijack your blessing. You say to Satan, enough is enough. Give me what you stole away from me. There are many of you here listening to me. That particular dream that you have. If you are the type of person, the kinds of things you see, snake, movie snake, movie snake, you have been initiated without you knowing. You are what is called an unconscious witch. That's why many women have problem with giving birth. That's why many women are barren. That's why many women, many women, many women, women are, are one of the people that have the major problems because you love to seek for you love to seek for miracle and all those things, signs and wonders. So because you seek for those things and the devil knows that you are seeking for that thing, he gets into you. Now listen to me again. You that is there listening to me and you are still putting on all these attachments. You are using dead body. You are putting dead bodies, dead bodies on your hair as attachments. You are putting dead body on as mascara and eye pencil. You are a witch, an unconscious witch, but you don't know. Tomorrow you come. Chedo say, I need deliverance. I will not run deliverance for anybody. I will not run the if you are putting on, don't, don't. Don't try to come close and say, I want deliverance. I will not run deliverance for anybody that puts on all those things. Because all those things that you are putting there, they are bones of dead people. Dead people are what you put on your head. That's why the Bible calls you people a living cause. It says you are a living cause. Why are you doing this to yourself? 
Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you doing this to yourself? Let me listen to me. Many of you that are having problems in your marriages, it's not ordinary. These things were manipulated from the kingdom of darkness. They took something from, they gave you something. Listen to me. That anointing oil. Every time, anointing oil. Stop taking anointing oil from anybody. Are you listening to me? I don't do it. Even if I even go to a church that they preach the Bible, I don't allow somebody to give me anointing and say, put it on your forehead. No. There is something written on my forehead. It is a mark only I and the Father knows. Something written on my forehead. And there is something written on your forehead before the foundations of time. There are simple secrets you will not understand. There are people that come back to the earth with the spirit of Isaiah, with the spirit of the prophet of old. And they are here telling you the truth. But you will not understand why they are telling you the things you are hearing. Because a time will come, the door will be shut down. All these things you are putting are dead bodies. You put dead bodies on your body. You put dead bodies attach as attachments. You are deceiving yourself. As you are listening to me, that's why all those dreams you are having, every time you be coming, I will, I will channel say, oh brother, I'm having this dream. I'm having this dream. You caused it yourself. You caused it yourself. That dream that you are having is because of you are already initiated. Go for deliverance. You need deliverance. If you are not delivered, even the marital problem that you are having, it didn't start now. Let me tell you how the devil works on your marriages. Little by little, little by little. If you go to a particular church, you go and tell the pastor, you begin to tell him some things about your marriage. And that pastor is holding a power from the kingdom of darkness. From that day, your marriage will never have peace. It will be as if they, 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 they cover your marriage and your marriage is okay and your marriage is is working out well um <clears throat> and your marriage is okay but it's a lie you they are working against your marriage they have taken away the joy of your marriage that's why every time you might be fighting with your husband don't think it is ordinary listen to the things that i tell you and get yourself free if you are in a place and they are not telling you about heaven everything the pastor you know i see if, you know every, all, almost every preacher now are coming up live on facebook so it gives me access to understand how these people preach and all the rest. Almost every preacher now are on Facebook and they come up live. They come up live. You see thousands of people. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Do you know why? These people are under initiation. There is a particular door. A particular secret room. Listen to me. If your pastor is always wearing a particular kind of suit. If you have discernment, you will notice that that suit is not ordinary. If your pastor is always wearing a particular kind of ring, why must you wear a ring? Why must you put on a ring? Why must you put on a ring and pray for people? Why must you put on that ring? Do you see me putting on any ring? Do you see my hand with any ring? Do you see my hand with any ring? Do you see any ring on my hand? Why must you put on a ring and pray for people there? They are initiating you into the kingdom of darkness, but you don't know. That ring is a sign of witchcraft power. If they use it to touch you, you might get miracle baby, but that baby you got, that baby you got, somehow they will take that baby away from you. Either they will allow that baby to become useless, either they will allow that baby to become good for nothing, or either that baby will die by accident. Later, I will go to you. I will go. I will go back on how on how accidents, things that happen. I met with the Queen of Heaven before. And I must tell you the simple truth. The things that you hear are very much real. Free yourself from all these things. Free yourself. You must be able to ask the Lord today for discernment. Discernment. Because it's only discernment that will help you to know what I'm really saying. Possibly some of the things I, 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 I'm saying right now. I, I, God helped me with discernment. Or god helped me and located me to a place where i can hear this thing so that i can give it back to you again that's your baby that is still behaving somehow baby that is still behaving and see something is happening to him how do you get that baby was he a pastor that prayed for you and he gave you something like an anointing oil every anointing oil that you are with in your room and they gave it to you they say this anointing oil is for this this anointing oil is for this one. This anointing oil is for barrenness. This anointing oil is for fruit of womb. This, please take those anointing oil. Bundle them from today and throw it away. Don't keep it in your house. 
don't keep it in your house. Or they gave you something like holy water. They gave you something like holy water. They said this holy water, use it. Take that holy water and throw it away for your own good. Throw that thing away. That thing that is in your house is a monetary spirit itself. They will use it to monitor you. In the kingdom of darkness, they have a satellite. In the kingdom of darkness, they have a machine. They have something they are using to watch you. They know who you are. That's why if you don't carry fire, your life, your life, if you don't carry fire, if you don't carry fire, they will finish you. They will finish you. If you don't carry fire, they will finish you. Many of you have been initiated through unwanted sex. Or through, what do they call it again? Which kind of, I don't know, is it um, sexual immorality? That fornication that you are having, they are initiating you, but you don't know. You might think that you are sleeping with a brother, or you might think you are sleeping with a sister. At the side of your bed, there is a demon. And you know what that demon is there to do? Don't worry. After, as you are sleeping with him, he drops. You might not see it. Spiritually, your spam is taken away. Are you hearing me? Spiritually, your spam is taken away. For the brothers and for the sisters, spiritually, something is taken out of you. It could be your womb. It could be something. They take that thing and put it in the kingdom of darkness. That's why tonight, tonight's vigil, as we are having tonight's vigil, as we are praying, fire will fall. Fire will fall. Fire will fall down again. Help yourself. Help yourself. They are everywhere. Help yourself, my friends. Help yourself. Help yourself. Help yourself. Help yourself. Some of you will still be listening to me. And you are still doing all those things that I told you not to do. What kind of people? You are still doing all those things. After you still come, brother, this, this, that. You are the cause of that problem. You are the cause of that problem. There are many Christians today. They suffer from a lot of lack. Let me just tell you the simple truth. I know if you people see some worldly ministers, some of these worldly ministers you see, they tell you something like, everything in Christendom works by faith. That's one principle you must know. There are some certain things you can even learn from, from the tricks of the devil. Many reasons why so many Christians are poor is this. If you take your money and give to an agent of darkness that is a pastor, listen to me very well, listen to me very well. If you like, I'm just doing it for your own good. After, after the ministration, I'll just close my distance and I'll just go to my bed and I'll sleep. I'll just sleep like normal. But I want it to be that I have told you all the truth so that even if I leave this world, the father can say to me, Chedoze, well done. We have been waiting for you. For this reason, we sent you. That's why the father gave me such kind of spirit. Many of you that complain like you work so much, but you see less. There are some of you that your finances have been caged in the kingdom of darkness. Are you hearing me? It has been caged by the virtue of some of the offerings you give. Many of you are contributing to sponsoring the kingdom of darkness. You don't know. You are also an unconscious witch. If you take a money that is supposed to be useful, maybe to the kingdom of God, and you carry it and give to a pastor that got his power from the water, that pastor that got his power from the water, he will carry 10% and pay tithe. He will pay tithe. Are you listening to me? He will go and pay tithe to the person that gave him power. Your money has entered into the person that gave him power. Your money is now tied. Every little money you receive, your 10% immediately automatically goes to the kingdom of darkness. How do you want to have money? How do you want to be favored? Oh, brother, I don't know what is happening. Oh, I don't have enough money. You know, it's like this thing. Because you don't understand. You don't understand spirituality. Let me tell you the simple truth. Since the time God taught me the spirit, what it means, what it means, I, I don't lack by the grace of God. I, I, I don't personally for me, I, I, I don't think I lack. 
the only thing possibly whatsoever I'm looking for now maybe is just for the ministry or um, for the camp project and something like that and all the rest but there's something the Lord taught me you must know how to give your money to the right place if you see a particular minister I'll just tell you this truth but you must take this truth for your own good why some of you your finances are locked and all the rest it's because a part of that your money has touched the hand of the kingdom of darkness. It's not possible for you to be blessed. <coughs> a part of your money has touched the kingdom of darkness. It's not possible for you to be blessed. You must pray to the Holy Spirit to guide you on the right place to take that money to. If that money enters into somebody that is filled with the Spirit of God, there is no way you will not make progress. There is no way your finances will not be blessed. It's not about you working 12 hours a day or 24 hours a day. You can work little and be blessed plenty or and be blessed in plenty or and be blessed in much folds. But you must understand. That's why, please, any money you receive, cover that money with the fire of God. There are some agents of darkness and they give you a particular money that money is in exchange of all the income you will get for that month. That's why some of you say, ah, but I work, you know, I got something like $30,000 or $5,000. Why is it that I cannot say anything again? The devil. The devil. I think I was writing to a, I, I, I wrote to a sister. I wrote to a sister. She's here. I wrote to her that I was crying today. I was crying today because of some certain things. Because I knew that I had faulted in some certain things. I knew that I had been scared and I have hid or I have hide some certain things from the children of God. Maybe because I have hide some certain things and I said, I don't want to preach on this thing and all the rest. But I know that this is a tear apart some people. If Satan is able to attack your finances, he knows that he will attack your Christian life. If he's able to attack your finances, there is no way you get to heaven. You know why? Because if you are not financially buoyant, you will be depressed. If you are not financially buoyant, you will not want to go to church again. Because you will not want to go to church. You will be thinking, ah, where is the transport fare? What would I use to give to offering? What would I use to do this? If you are not financially buoyant, listen to me very much well. It will affect every area of your life. Getting to heaven will be impossible. That is the strategy of the kingdom of darkness. Many of these worldly Christians, they know what it is to give. You are surprised. You are surprised that Bill Gates is rich. <laughs> Bill Gates does not need to read your Bible to become rich. Listen to me. There are people that don't need to read some certain things to get some certain things. It's a principle. You must understand the right way to put your treasures into the basket of heaven. And so that you will reap bountifully. That's why Jesus told the disciples, you will be blessed on this earth and in the world to come. Your blessings is not just in heaven. Your blessings also is on the earth. But also, you must understand that there are powers that are caging these things. They are tied it in the kingdom. Tonight, Virgin, we go pray. We go pray. We will pray. We will pray. Don't say I'm taking too much of time when I'm praying, no. Because I want to pray. I want to ensure that even I also, that the Lord has set me free from anything. You also, the Lord has said, you will pray and pray and pray and pray. Some of you, please use the share button. Use the share button. Invite your friends. Use the invite button and invite your friends. Invite your friends to listen to today's message. Invite your friends because tomorrow I will go into the part two of this kind of message again. Invite your friends. Share to your friends so that they can be delivered. <laughs> they can be delivered from the oppression of Satan. They can be delivered from the powers of darkness. There are many churches and there are many places. They call it gathering. But listen to me. Those places are occultic places. At the side of the altar, something has been buried down there. If you don't have a spiritual eyes. If you don't have a spiritual eyes, you will not understand what I'm saying. Something has been buried. Be careful where you take your child for dedication. Tomorrow your child grows up, you say, this child, he you know even his brain, he does not have wisdom. Or oh, this child is too, is too dummy. You, are, you caused it. You took him to an altar of an occultic pastor to deliver him. And now you are saying, hey, God, what would I do? And maybe you come to a rapture again, time will make come sometime. I say, I need deliverance and all the rest. You caused it. 
Not all that glitters is gold. Fast miracle, fast power, fast healing, fast this, fast that, fast this, fast marriage. Fast. Many of you that are unmarried, your marital partners have been caged. Your marriages have been caged in the kingdom of darkness. Are you hearing me? Many of you that have been married, you have... You, you got to the age of 30, 31, 32, 33, and you are not married. What are you saying? Something is happening somewhere. It's not because you are not beautiful. It's not because you are not handsome. It's not because you don't have money. It's not because you don't have this and that. The devil has caged you in the kingdom of darkness. That's why you cannot get married. You are there. You still keep on using the, the attires of the kingdom of darkness. Why won't they cage you? You are there. You still keep on doing some certain things. You still keep on visiting. Maybe you, you call it something like something like um, a, a house of this, maybe a house of prayer. And, all, and that person you are visiting, he got his power from the water. Why won't they tie everything about you? You caused it yourself. You caused it yourself. Why don't you tell Jesus to deliver you? The earth is polluted. There is a lot of powers upon the earth. That's why Jesus sent me to deliver the earth. There are many fake pastors out there. Be careful. Be careful. Some of you are listening to me and you are with anointing oil of this, anointing oil of um, tribe of Judah, anointing oil of this one, anointing oil of this one, anointing oil of this one, water of this, water of miracle, water of fish, water of chicken, water of this. I don't even know where people got those water from. Maybe water of food, water of rice, water. Use this water. If you use this water, drink it, put it anytime. Use this water, do this and do that. You are using those water in your houses. You are using those. Maybe you come to Rapture Again Time Movement and you are using that water. You come to Rapture Again Time Movement. Maybe you come. Maybe you might even try to deceive me and make me feel that oh the prayers that we have made is not working and all the rest help yourself throw all those things away from your house throw all those things away from your house I've dealt with a lot of deliverance case by the grace of God and I can tell you that many people are under bondage so called Christians they say I'm a Christian. It's not by mouth. It's not by saying I'm a Christian. Oh, I'm a Christian. Oh, I'm a Christian. Oh, hey, I, I got born again. Um, if I tell some people I got born again to whatever, they say you're still a small believer. You know, uh, you don't know what we know and all the rest. We got born again 1980 when you have not been born. We got born again 1992. That time they have not given birth to you. Yes, it's true. They have not given birth to me. It's not by how long you have been born again. It's by the fire you carry. Heaven knows you by the fire you carry. If you don't carry fire, heaven, Satan will deal with you. You don't carry fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. The devil knows those who are. That's why every time maybe I, I might have a lot of a lot of issues. So many things happening around me and all the rest. The devil knows those that are serving him. He dares not. You dare not. You dare not touch me. You dare not cause an accident wherever I go to. You don't know who you are. You don't know who you are. You don't know the kind of spirit your father has given to you. That's why many Christians are poor. Because they don't understand the secret of giving. They don't understand. I told myself sometimes back, Lord, I love you so much. How can I be giving 10? How can I be giving 10%? How can I be giving 20%? Give 20% for a Jesus that I love with all my heart. In the new covenant. Let me tell you simple truth. If you understand spiritual things. There is no way the devil will be able to afflict you. There is no way he will touch the things that concern you. Many of you, the places that you are working... Your boss in that office is not an ordinary man. Your boss is an occultic man. So that company was built under a foundation of an occultic man. Listen to me very much well. If that company is built under the foundation of an occultic man, there is no way you will not have problems. I want a job, I want a job, I want a job. You didn't ask the Lord, is this the job that is meant for me? I want a job, I want a job, I want a job. You jump into that job. 
Look at how your Christian life is today because of that job. Oh, you think that that job was a blessing. It's not a blessing. That job that you are working is a cost to you. You know why? You know why it's a cost? You know why it's a cost? If that job separated you from Jesus, if that job separated you from prayer, if that job separated you from your, from your Bible study, if that job separated you from serving the Lord, that job is an agent, that job is a witchcraft power, that job is not meant for you. But because you want it too fast, you want it too fast, and now you got the job. You got the job, right? You got the job. Even the money that you are working for, hardly in a month would you see the money. Because you are working for an agent of darkness. There are many companies in the world and in Nigeria. It is not owned by a human being. It is owned by the queen of heaven. It is owned by demonic power. It is owned by people that you don't know yourself. There are banks that are not owned by human beings. You think everything is owned by human beings? <laughs> you think everything is owned by human beings you think everything is owned by human beings not everything is owned by human beings but if you don't carry fire listen to me there is no way you will carry the holy ghost fire inside of you satan will bring all those things to you it's for some christians that do not carry fire the fire inside of you it must not be 50 percent though it must be above 70 percent there is a way the kingdom of darkness weighs your fire they know who is who they know if I am lying to you. They know if I am preaching for my belly. They know if I am preaching to you because I want to become a billionaire. <laughs> I'll be the last to deceive myself. Help yourself. Help yourself to get to heaven. Help yourself. Many of you, they have laid hands on you. That hand they laid on you is what is causing your problem. Lay hand on me, lay hand on me, lay hand on me. After he laid down, he, he was trying to talk to you. He was trying to show you some little. He told you, oh, sister, don't worry. Can't you sleep with me? Sleep with me. Many of you are listening to me. You are sleep. You are slept with some pastors. You are slept with them. You are, you are listening to me right now. You are slept with them. And now your life is like this. Go for deliverance. Go for deliverance. Go for deliverance. Go for deliverance if you want to be set free. After you go for deliverance, come and see what will happen. And you'll be the first to testify of what Jesus has done in your life. Why? Why? Let us be very much mindful. The days are too evil. The wickedness of the earth is too evil. The church needs deliverance. The ministers even need deliverance themselves. A minister that is working for Satan doesn't he need deliverance. Be very much watchful. Look at them very much well. Many of them wear a particular ring. They wear a particular ring. I will not call names here. But look at them very well. Look at them very well. And you will know if Chedoze is lying to you. You will know if Chedoze is saying the truth to you. You will know if Jesus sent Chedoze. The Lord will have his way in the body of Christ tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will deliver us by the grace of God. Um, the Lord will do his work in our life. He will help us to see Jesus. He will help us to see Jesus. I will go to another part. Tomorrow, I will continue this message. This will be the last part. And I will be talking to sisters. Listen to me very much well. Listen to me very much well. Many of you are a tool for the kingdom of darkness. But you don't know. I met a particular sister. The particular sister I was talking to you about, then she said to me, Brother, you know, I see myself doing this. But there's something I noticed about this sister. If you look at this sister, if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, for the brothers, if you look at this particular sister I'm talking of, I want to let you know how the kingdom of darkness works now. This particular sister has what is called a seducing spirit. <laughs> don't tell me how I know <laughs> I just know things but I don't know how I know but I just know <laughs> this particular sister is filled with a seducing spirit now what is her work in the kingdom of darkness she told me brother I see myself in the water I see myself they are doing this they are giving me this they are giving me food to eat they give me a chair and you know I sit down and all the rest this particular sister I'm talking to you she's an unconscious witch but she doesn't know what is her work in the kingdom of darkness? I ask myself. This lady, anything she wears is seductive. I look at her. If you have a prophetic eyes, you, you, might, you, you, you can have the grace to look at people, you know. I looked at her. 
when I looked at her, I noticed that the seducing spirit in this girl is too much. A young brother that is not filled with the Holy Ghost, you dare not stay near this sister. If you stay near this sister, you fall into sin. If you stay near this sister, you fornicate. If you stay near this sister, uh, your life is destroyed. Listen to me very much carefully. I saw this sister. I told this sister, are you born again? She said to me, yes, I've given my life to you. She's even a choir in the church. Many of these people that are working for Satan, they are choirs in the church. Some of them might even be in rapture in the entire movement. Maybe God has not opened my eye and I've not seen them. Don't worry. Your time will soon be up. The kind of prayer will be making rapture in the entire movement. If you stay there, you will die. I would ensure by the grace of God, I will have no rest. I will do vigil on your head. If you come to rapture the entire movement with all those your witchcraft power, if you come to rapture the entire movement with all those your demonic power, you will die because you will not live to see the day. If you have caused havoc in other holiness ministry, don't come to rapture the entire movement and destroy the ministry. Don't come to rapture the entire movement and destroy the peace we have. Don't come to the rapture in the time of me and destroy the testimony we have. Don't come to the rapture in and destroy the power that God has given to us. Don't come to the rapture in the time of me and destroy our joy. You must be careful. You must be careful. They are everywhere. They are in the church. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. So many people write to me and I'm very surprised. One of the biggest messages I get so far is, Brother, can you pray for my finances? Can you pray for my finances? You know, I don't have so much of money. But I know the simple truth. I know that it is because this one does not know the power of giving. This one has given his or money to a fake, maybe an agent of darkness and they have put it inside of the sea. What kind of prayer do you want me to make again? If you do the right things that you are supposed to do, tell me, won't the Lord bless you? Won't your life be blessed? I've told the Lord, before I get to heaven, before I go to heaven, before I go to heaven, I will destroy every power, no power. Listen to me, the Father, the Father can sit down in his kingdom there. But as long as the children of God, the sons and daughters of God, the last day army of Jesus, as long as we are on the earth, who we'll destroy every kingdom that has stand upon the earth. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I don't need to, I don't need to stay for 100 or 200 years on the world. I might not be old, you know. I might be quite young, but it doesn't mean. It's the spirit that God puts in me. Help yourself. From today onwards. For the sisters, I want you to do something. Check your clothes. Any one of your clothes that the Holy Spirit said don't wear it, please don't wear that clothes. Some of your clothes have been used to initiate you. They initiated you by your clothes. All those clothes that you wear that is revealing your shape and your body. You are killing yourself. Oh. You are the one killing yourself. Oh. There is no prayer that Jesus will do for you again. No. Do the things I say you should do. Take that cloth and burn it. Go and burn that cloth. Go and burn that cloth. You know the cloth I'm talking about. You know the clothes I'm talking about. You know the ones I'm talking about. You know the ones I'm talking about. Go and burn them away. Maybe you are still here. You are still wearing trousers. Why are you killing yourself? I want to get married. I want to get married. So I'm not dressed like this. You think it's by you think it's by dressing. You think it's by dressing they used to get married. <laughs> you think it's by dressing. You think it's by dressing. <laughs> if you are not prayerful, if you are not prayerful, it's not by dressing, it's by prayer. <laughs> you think it's by dressing? It's not by dressing they do it. Be prayerful. Get some fire in your spirit. Get some power in your spirit, you know. Fill yourself with the fire. Fill yourself with the word of God. I just said, you know, uh, we, I think we saw that I won't call him. We saw that, that a particular pastor was arrested. He was arrested in South Africa. A Nigerian um, pastor was arrested in South Africa. Why was he arrested? Because he was sleeping with his church member. Oh, you think it is ordinary? That was a task they gave to him in the kingdom of darkness. You have to sleep with 15 people per day. You have to sleep with 15 people per week. I don't know how they do it. I don't know if I'm right, you know, because I don't understand how they... 
you know how people sleep with people and all the rest but what i know is this that um, maybe you have to sleep with some certain people per day per week per month or you sleep with 20 people in a day or you sleep with 30 people in a day or something like that right i don't know am i right <laughs> i don't know if it's possible but that's <laughs> that, that's that's the that's the covenant they made with satan so when you see them don't think that they are ordinary. It's a covenant that they made with Satan that if you sleep with this number of people, you will get more power. And you carry your head and go to that kind of church. And you pray. They might even be praying, Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. It's a lie, yo. It's a lie. It's not by saying Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. The Bible says, many will come in my name. Even Jesus told you that they will even come in his name. They will prophesy in his name, but they are not from God. Many will say, Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. It's not by saying Holy Ghost fire. It's by the content of why you are saying Holy Ghost fire. Are you saying Holy Ghost fire from a true heart? Are you saying Holy Ghost fire from a true spirit? Why are you calling Holy Ghost fire? Are you anointed to call Holy Ghost fire? If you are not anointed with the Spirit of God and you call Holy Ghost fire, nothing will happen. If you are not filled with the fire of God and you call Holy Ghost fire, nothing will happen. You must be filled with the Holy Ghost fire. The true Holy Ghost fire is the one that comes from heaven. The true Holy Ghost fire is the message of holiness and fire. The true holiness is the message of the kingdom of God. That you are getting prepared for heaven. These are just little secrets. Tomorrow I'll give us some more secrets on the kingdom of darkness. I'll give us some more secrets. Some more secrets. Some more secrets. And I know God is going to... I'm going to pray. I'm, I'm going to make a final prayer today. Um, for those that want to repent. For those that want to surrender all to Jesus and all the rest. I'm going to make a final prayer. And tomorrow I'm going to be live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday... Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Though sometimes I'm very much busy. But one thing I know is this. One thing I know is this. If I have all the time, I don't mind preaching every day. It's so that you will get blessed. It's so that you will get blessed. It's so that you will get blessed. Tonight, wherever Satan has tied your destiny, he has tied your miracle. Why many of you cannot testify? It's because your miracles have been tied under the sea. Are you hearing me very well? Why many of you cannot testify? Your miracles have been tied under the sea. I've been to some places. And inside of me, I know that something is happening here. It's not by, it's not by shouting that you are going to join. It's not by coming on Facebook and writing all this. You know, all these posts people write on Facebook. Sometimes I just laugh. You can write a wonderful post on Facebook. It does not even mean that you are a Christian. There are many wonderful posts on Facebook. But if I see them, I know who is who. You don't need to tell me. If once you write, let me just tell you how the gift works inside of me. Once somebody writes something on his Facebook profile, if I look at it, I know if this person is truly a child of God. I know if this man is beating his wife at all. I know if this man does not talk to his wife very well. How dare you? You don't talk to your wife very much well. You, 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 are, you, are, you are so wicked to your wife. And you come to Facebook and be preaching to us. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? You are living in fornication. You come to Facebook and be preaching. How dare you? The Lord is going to deliver his children. The Lord is going to make a way by the grace of God. God is going to bless our soul. God is going to bless our spirit. I have one purpose. To ensure that you get there. And if you need to go for deliverance, go for deliverance. That's why by the grace of God. Why do you think, you know, I just laugh, I laugh. <laughs> why do you think in Rapture Day we are trying to get the camp? Are we getting the camp for play, play, play sake? I have seen it in the spirit world. I have seen it that that camp will be used to deliver souls. I have seen it that that camp will be used to change destinies. I have seen it that that camp will want to build by the grace of God. Will be used to turn many to the kingdom of God. I have seen it that many people will receive their true miracles. If there is fake power, there is original power. I have seen it that the power of God will move mightily in Lagos State in Ikorodu very much soon through that camp. And we say contribute, contribute, contribute. So, uh, let me tell you the simple truth. There is a way to get blessed. And there is a way to get blessed. If truly, if truly you understand that something is heavenly mandated, do your best to be a part of it. I'm not saying this because of my own sake, because I personally, for me, I said to myself, 
I'm going to. I I, I think I, I I spoke to Sister Shemilori or something like that. I spoke to Shemilori. I, I I said to myself, I'm going to do everything, everything inside of me, if it means that I give everything I have, so that I ensure that that calm comes to life. I'm not doing it for myself. Maybe I'm doing it for my unborn children. I'm not doing it for myself. Maybe I'm doing it for your unborn children. Maybe we are doing it for your sister and your brother and all the rest. That's what I said to myself, you know. I said to myself that I'm going to do everything possible. And by the grace of God, any time I give into that, I receive more blessings. You must understand this true secret. Oh, let me tell you the truth. There are many ministers out there that are dying if you don't know. A, a, a young lady called me. She called me. This young lady cannot feed. She goes to church. A young lady, you can, she cannot feed. She has a baby. She cannot take care of her family. Her husband loses her job. And she's crying. Okay, you want me to be telling the girl, sorry, I pray for you. What does God expect me to do? God expects me to be a blessing to her also. There are people that are suffering terribly. They are serving Jesus. They are suffering. You don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you are doing to the kingdom of God. You don't know how you are affecting the kingdom of darkness. That's why I say many of you are agents of darkness, but you don't know. You know why? Because what you could have done to help the kingdom of God to move forward, this kind of message you listen to here, this kind of message you listen to here, is it not the kind of message that people will listen to and they will get to heaven and they will repent? No, no. But the ones, the ones that went to the kingdom of darkness, the ones that went to the kingdom of darkness, the ones that went to the river to get power, yeah, you will give them now, no problem. Listen to me very much well. Before I leave this earth, before I leave this earth, I know I don't have too much of time. But before I leave this earth, I would ensure by the grace of God, no power of darkness will live again. No wicked power. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. If they need to die, let them die. Let them die. Let them die. So that we can have our way. Enough is enough. They are all over the earth. They are everywhere. Some of them are not human beings. They are working with different spirits. Some of them have been sent. Be wise. Be wise. Be wise. Be wise. Some of you are listening to me right now. You are listening to me right now. And the things, the things, the things that are affecting your Christian life, the things that are affecting your Christian life is just because of one thing. It's just because of one thing. Maybe because of the things you put on your body. Tomorrow you will have dream and you will be shouting. Tomorrow, now listen to me. Tomorrow it's like I'll talk about sex dream. For some of you that have sex dream, don't worry. Calm yourself down. Tomorrow, I will open the box of sex dream to you. I will open the box of wet dream. You know, many brothers suffer from this. <laughs> many brothers have suffered from this. Many sisters have suffered from this. I will let you know the mystery of wet dream. All those sex dreams that you are having, what is happening to you in the spiritual realm? What is happening to you? I will let you know the mystery of wet dream. Some of you will see yourself sleeping. You'll be sleeping with your husband. In the dream, you thought it's your husband. No, you are sleeping with somebody from the river. How would your life remain the same? Be wise. Be wise. Be wise so that you can get to heaven. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here for today. By the grace of God. And uh, we're going to go into prayer. Um, use the share button, invite your friends. I think I'm, I'm true for the message of today. Those that have ears will take the message. Those that don't want to take the message, no problem, but... In my heart, I know that I preach the whole counsel of God. That's what I want. So that before I leave this earth, before I get back to the Father and give back to Him my assignment, He will tell me, Chelose, your job is done. And I can get to heaven. And I can have a better place in God's kingdom. Don't you want to get to heaven? Is that not why you are doing all these things? Is that not why you are serving the Lord? Are you serving the Lord in vain? Is that not why you come to the vigils of rain? Is that not why you come to the services of rain? It's not because you want to go to heaven. Is it not because you want to go to heaven? Is it not because you want to go to heaven? People are dying. People are dying because of they have caged their destiny. Are you one of them that they have caged their destiny? Tonight, Vigil, we will know which power is stronger. I want to know if the kingdom of darkness, if Satan power is stronger than Jesus' power. I want to know. I, I want to understand this thing. I, I, want to, I, I want God to show me. If it is the Lord that sent me or the Lord that delivered me, the Lord that delivered me some years back, if it is that same God that shows me all these things, I want to truly know who is powerful. Who is powerful? Is Jesus powerful or is the kingdom of darkness more powerful than Jesus? I want to know. 
But the reason why some of you will not testify is this. Because many of you, many of you are the cause of those things. Many of you are the one. You are a stumbling block to your miracle. Maybe when we say pray, 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 in the vigil, we say pray, pray, pray. You take a cup of tea and be drinking. Oh. <laughs> Maybe because I'm in my night. I'm in my 1 a.m., you know, preaching the word of God. <clears throat> I'm in my 1 a.m. preaching, um, doing the vigil. Maybe you are in your 8 p. You are in your 8 p.m. or you are in your 8 a.m. And as we are praying, you know, you be praying. I'm saying, Holy Ghost fire, yeah, Holy Ghost fire, oh, Holy Ghost fire. You be drinking tea. You be eating chicken. You you are eating chicken and you are shouting Holy Ghost fire with me. <laughs> and you want to get blessed. You put your heart. You put your soul. You put your mind. You put your everything to it. Let me see how you not get blessed. Some of you that Satan has put a date that you will have accidents in this world. Uh, we go know which power. We will know which power is bigger. We will know which power is bigger. I hope we will not be praying. Somebody will say, Ah, brother Jesus, I'm tired. I want to go and sleep. Oh. To hell with the job. Is it not for you to be delivered? Do you know how many hours I sleep in a day? <laughs> Do you want to know how many hours I sleep in a day? <laughs> To hell with all those things. Your Christian life is what is more important. Don't love money than Jesus. Some of you love money. You love money. You love job. You love job. You love office. You love this. You love flashy car. You love flashy houses. You love flashy. Day. Everything flashy. That's why when the pastor tell you, miracle money I receive, miracle car I receive, miracle this, everything I receive, I receive, I receive. If it's the one for your Christian life, if I say long suffering, would you say I receive? If I say patience, would you say I receive? If I say um, fruit of the spirit, would you say I receive? Would you say I receive? But if I say this one now, you say, I receive, I receive, I receive. Serve Jesus. Born for Jesus. Scatter the earth for Jesus. Paint this earth with Jesus. Let the kingdom of darkness know that Jesus did not die for nothing. That's a part of my calling. I want the devil to know that Jesus did not die for nothing. There was a purpose why Jesus, Jesus died so that Jesus will come up on this earth to give the gospel. Jesus did not die. Your gospel message is useless. If it is not pointing people to heaven, what do you mean? Let me go to God in prayer because um, there is a vexation in my spirit. There is a vexation in my spirit right now. Let me go to God. If I continue like this, I might not, I might not finish. Uh, I don't want to spend so much of time because of um, um, some of us. Let's go to God in prayer. I, I will not do so much of prayer because I don't think it's a prayer we need. What we just need is to do the right thing. I will not call word of knowledge because that word of knowledge, I will not even, I don't, I won't prophesy. I won't prophesy today. I won't do that. Even within the VJ, I might not, we might just go into prayer. I will go to the engine room. Let me, um, let me put it there. Add, add remember on Skype. For some of you that are watching, if you don't know it, you can write to me on WhatsApp. Check up. You see my contacts. Check. You can inbox me. Add remember. Your deliverance has come. Your time has come. Add remember on Skype and join us on Zoom by the grace of God. We go set fire. Fire. You know what is called fire? Oku. It will move. It will move. It will move. In the name of Jesus. Okay? First, I'll do this. There are some persons here that need to surrender all their lives to Jesus. That needs to give all to Jesus Christ. That needs to surrender all to Jesus Christ. Um, um, right now, just just tell Jesus. I won't tell you, say after me and all the rest. Just tell Jesus you are sorry. Talk to Jesus. Um, <clears throat> talk, talk to Jesus. T tell, tell Jesus you're, you're sorry. Tell Jesus you're sorry, you know. Tell Jesus you're sorry. Just talk to Jesus. Tell him I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the things. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry for becoming an agent of even darkness. I'm sorry for becoming an unconscious witchcraft without me knowing. I, I'm sorry for giving giving to the kingdom of darkness. Giving my money to, to sponsor and to forward the work of darkness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for contributing to all these things. I'm sorry for doing these things. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. He will have mercy on you. Oh, I, I, today, today I talked to the Lord. I told the Lord I'm sorry. I, I, I wrote to a particular I told her I repent. I repent from that, you know, uh, because I just want to get to heaven. Nothing should stand against me so that nothing stands against you on the day of judgment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You are worthy. Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy. To be glorified, 
You are worthy, my Redeemer. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Savior. You are worthy. You are worthy. Redeemer, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. Lord, we are sorry. Jesus, your children say they are sorry. Lord, I know you will forgive them. Jesus, I know you forgive them. Won't you forgive them? You forgive them, right? You forgive them because of your cross, right? I know you're going to forgive them, Lord. Jesus, I know you're going to forgive them. Holy Spirit, I know you're here. <laughs> um, you forgive them, right? I know you forgive them, right? I know, I know you forgive them, right? Yeah. I see the Holy Spirit doing something like this to me. Um, <clears throat> He's here. He's close to me. Um, I'm not alone, and uh, he's going to forgive you wherever you are. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Let your name be blessed. For those that are watching this, use the share button, share to your friends. This rapture ready end time movement, a place where God has placed his word, a place where God has placed his power, a place where God has placed his spirit, to be a channel of blessings to those that want to get to heaven. Um, also, by God's grace, also do well to be a part of this um to be a part of this course, you know. And for those in Germany, you know, if you if you 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 got the message I put in the Germany group, please, please write to me on WhatsApp uh, so that we can um, try to do something. That's those in Juicy Dove or so. And um, um, tomorrow we are going to do this. For those in Rapture Day and Time Women, we are not going to have Bible study and Charismatica. Everything is going to be live on Facebook. I believe the Holy Spirit wants so many people to get the message. Not only Rapture Day and Time Women. Benefiting from the messages and all the rest by the grace of God. Um, also, um, do well to be a part of the camp project by the grace of God. Let's get a camp um, and by God's grace. Um, that's what the um, the PayPal account is there for, you know, um, so that we can have a deliverance camp. I'm believing this by God's grace. So many of us will be there by the grace of God and will receive our, our deliverance. We don't do deliverance and I don't do deliverance for money. I don't collect any money for deliverance and all the rest. Freely has God given me the gift, and freely I give back to the earth, you know. I'm still an unworthy and unprofitable servant. And um, I'm not even worthy to be called an unworthy servant, you know. Because the Bible says, after you have done all those things, you are just an unworthy servant. So I'm not, I'm not even worthy to be called an unworthy servant, you know. Um, but I think I should be called an unworthy and unworthy and unworthy and unworthy servant. So the same way you are praying to get to heaven, I'm praying to get to heaven. Humble yourself, you know. Remove the pride inside of you and serve Jesus. Humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. Life is not all about all those things you think you have. If you are not filled with the fire of God, desire to be filled with the fire of God, and you can join us on Skype. Add Remember on Skype. Let me put that here. I'm going to type it um, on Skype. You add Remember uh, on Skype. Um, um, let me put that on Skype. Remember. Um, sorry. Um, remember, um, what was that? I'm coming. Remember on Skype. Okay. Um, I, I think I put it down there. I hope I put it there. Um, oh, sorry. Um, okay. So you add remember on Skype by the grace of God. And then when you do that on Zoom, you, you get to add us on, you get to get the ID on Zoom. I think um, Sister Shemlery always shares that. Sister Adesua or Sister Charity will always share that to us. You can see them, they write to them um, and they will get. For those watching me, um, please don't send friend requests. I have some friend requests I cannot accept. Um, but I want you to be a part of this. So use the share button, use the follow button so that you can get all the message by the grace of God. And for those um, asking um, maybe for the account number, maybe you write to me. And you get that, you know, 
and um, so that you can be a part of the blessing by the grace of God. And I know you're going to be blessed and, and all the rest. Don't miss tonight's with you. You know, I love you all. And I've been thinking of you all. And um, I believe you get to heaven by the grace of God. God bless you.